Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to talk about comments. So we're going to cover uh, how to use them and uh, why you should uh, use comments. So uh, here's a standard program that you might see uh, for one of your programs. Uh, it's really simple. There's just a whole bunch of different move blocks, and it's not really clear why each of these, what each of these move blocks are doing actually. So that's what comments kind of help you do. They help you um, say what the robot's doing uh, aside from just the blocks. So more than just saying what the power levels are and uh, things that you can actually see on the block, it tells you um, the comments kind of help you remember um, what the robot is actually doing in the real world. So say moving an arm or uh, driving straight to get to a certain area and you fill in whatever area that is. So uh, to put in a comment you want to click where you want to comment and then you go up here to your comment uh, little box and if you click on that then a comment will appear right here. You can resize it. In fact you might want to do that before you put anything in so that you can actually click on it easily and then at that point you can put in whatever text you want. Of course you can move them around so you usually want to have the, your comments correspond to uh, either one block or a group of blocks. Uh, and now that you've got the basics of why you should comment and uh, how to put in a comment let's talk about uh, what effective strategies there are. So uh, a lot of teams have different uh, ways for programming and uh, implementing comments in their in their programming. Uh, there's no real this is a right way to comment. Uh, every team of programmers in both FLL and uh, real world have different strategies for, pro uh, for commenting their programs. Uh, it's really dependent on your your team's need. That being said there are some general things that are probably not the best way to comment. So as I mentioned comments are really designed to give you extra information that you didn't already know from looking at the code. So if we look at this program um, you don't really want to have a comment that that has like your power levels or something like that in because it's already on the block. Now if you're a rookie team and you're having uh, trouble remembering what the power levels are for that block by all means put a put a comment in and say well here here's all the uh, comments that we here's the uh, power level that we're currently at uh, it, it, the comments are designed to help you um, remember things or know things that you didn't already know so whatever fits that criteria uh, use that uh, you don't necessarily want a block for block commenting system uh, often that takes a lot of time to maintain because if you input another block in then you'd have to move all your comments over so that it uh, lines up properly and that's really bad when you have uh, say I was commenting for this this comment uh, reflected this block and then you put in another block and all of a sudden it, this comment really belongs with this block but if you don't change it you think that this one is the same so you got to really make sure that they're all lined up like that. Um, so that's kind of one style of commenting. Uh, as I mentioned, comments uh, are designed to give you uh, information that you didn't already have. Something that our team has done previously for um, with comments is if we're changing a value. So say we're 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 realizing that this might be going too slow, so we change this to 60. Often we won't remember. Well, we changed it to before, to before, and rather than going back to an old version in our version controlling, if if it didn't work, we put in a comment and say what the previous value was. So in this case, it was 50, and then you just kind of plop it under where it is. So that means when you come back to this, you see that there's used to be a used to be power level 50, and so if things are not working too well in the turn, in this case it's a turn, isn't turning properly, you might change it to 50. And that's kind of another use of uh, 
comments instead of like going back to a old version and opening it up and waiting for it to load and stuff you have it right in front of you probably one of the most useful commenting uh, techniques that we use is our uh, large comment block which we put at the beginning of every single program and uh, it really gives a it's basically an overview block um, normally what we have is a uh, ver version name and what that basically is is just the name of your program and uh, the version so uh, we can go tutorial 1-1 one one, or 1-1 one or 1 period 0 1.0 uh, the other thing that we have is uh, last worked on by, and this tells you who last worked on the uh, the program. So if you have any questions about the changes that were made, you know who uh, who last worked on it, and this is that way. Hopefully, whoever was programming it uh, knew what they were doing. The other thing we do is date last worked on. Uh, we often you you can uh, pull this up uh, Microsoft uh, any um, any operating system can tell you when the file was last modified but this is kind of just without having to go through um, to the uh, Explorer or finder if you're using a Mac um, it just you can type in the day um, what we also put in is a purpose of the program so here you'd uh, write down any information about what your program is designed to do. For example, this year, uh, pick up the truck or lift the house or maybe a combination of the two. So uh, just describing what the mission is eventually supposed to do. Uh, then we kind of have a uh, current state or what it's doing right now. And that just describes what it does currently and uh, what is being worked on so this is useful for anybody who um, is coming to a program now uh, they have information about what the past programmer was working on and uh, can continue uh, from there hopefully by looking at that section of the uh, code and figuring out what needs to be worked on and the last thing that we do is we have a divider normally for, and we have changes. So we have all of our versions and what each of them do. So we may have tutorial uh, 1.0, and we, we, we'd, we'd say uh, who worked on it. And then we put a dash, and then we'd be like, we'd say what it does. So. Um, Say that this program was designed to get the tree and tree leaf off and uh, the dog and the cat. So maybe maybe version one uh, is picking up the cat, and then version two, also done by me, maybe is a uh, picking up the dog now too and uh, maybe version 3 is picking up oh, by me again is removing the leaf but missing the cat so when you have this, this is kind of a nice guideline over what each of the versions does. So version one was picking up the cat. Version two was picking up the dog. Version three was getting the leaf, but now it's not getting getting the cat anymore for some reason. And uh, sometimes when you're going through versions, you accidentally change a number, um, like at the beginning of the program, and then don't notice it. So if you compare the the cat version, which you know is number one, uh, tutorial 1.0, you can go back to that program and compare the, the beginning and see if that's, that's the problem.
in some cases it is and then you can just make a quick change and then ideally you have uh, tutorial 3.1 also done by me and then you have everything working because you realize that you accidentally changed a number and then you just put it back to the original so those are some of the different commenting strategies that uh, my team uses that I, I help out with. Uh, there, are, Like I said, there are a lot of uh, different approaches to commenting, and some teams don't do commenting. But uh, our teams do, and we find it really, really beneficial when uh, debugging or uh, working in general on anything. Uh, it may be a little bit of an effort to uh, keep everything organized and all the comments lined up, but in the end, uh, I think it's worth it and definitely uh, beneficial to your team if you can have this kind of structure or maybe develop your own structure.